Now, India has been wanting Tesla to come and invest in India for a long time. So far, Elon Musk unwilling to come to India because Tesla was seeking special exemptions. The Indian government wasn't willing to make special exemptions or give additional subsidies, and therefore that investment never fructified. Uh, when I spoke to Elon Musk uh, soon after his meeting with Prime Minister Modi, he's confirmed on record that Tesla will be investing. He himself will be coming uh, to India next year, and that uh, Tesla is looking to collaborate around SpaceX and invest in manufacturing in India. Now, the specific nature of the investment uh, not explained at the moment, but just the the fact that Elon Musk has himself confirmed that Tesla will be investing in India after meeting Prime Minister Narendra Modi would count as one of the big wins for the Prime Minister during his visit to New York because like Apple, Tesla also is a bellwether uh, corporation and once a company like Apple or Tesla announces investment plans in any com country, uh, it does have a ripple effect on other com companies in the same uh, sector. It happened in China when Tesla went into China in a very big way uh, and now Tesla announcing investment in India. Remember Tim Cook when he came also announced that he would double down Apple's investments in mobile manufacturing and that sends an encouraging signal to other uh, companies in the tech uh, mobile manufacturing space about India as a serious destination for investment now. Elon Musk's big announcement, A, bringing much cheer and sending a strong message that Elon Musk is buying into and wanting to invest in the India story. Uh, Rahul, I request you to stay on with me because we are seeing with this telecast coming in from the United States of America, this is a tightly packed schedule for Prime Minister Modi. Kickstarting his U.S. visit by meeting nearly two dozen thought leaders from various fields, Prime Minister Modi met Grammy-winning singer Falguni Shah, astrophysicist Neil Tyson, investor Ray Dalio, Nobel Prize winner Paul Romer, author Robert Thurman, among at least top 20 prominent Americans. Top leaders have asserted they want to see a deepening of technological convergence between India and the USA in industries. For example, like semiconductors, defense, cybersecurity, and telecoms. These are, remember, significant industries that uh, could actually have India play a big role. Uh, Rahul Kamal, our news director, continues to be with us. Uh, Rahul, because after New York City, it's going to be about important business deals, business discussions, both for Biden and Prime Minister Modi. We are expecting, of course, some big defense deals, for example, the GE F414. What, according to you, will the Predator drones, the jet engines co-manufacturing mean for India's arsenal? What is advantage us for in that? This whole aspect of America now being willing to transfer technology to India is very significant because uh, till a few months, if not years ago, there was no question of America agreeing to transfer technology uh, around an area as sensitive as jet engines because this is what you guard as closely as possible. This is not technology which is shared. It requires deep trust. It requires uh, you know, a congruence of interest which because of the common threat posed by China, India and the United States now see uh, interest in coming together and this despite the fact that the United States knows that India isn't an ally. New Delhi doesn't agree with DC on various issues. Issues, Russian oil, Russia-Ukraine war, uh, and despite that, uh, for the United States to be willing to make these concessions for India is a very significant achievement indeed and would count as a big victory for Indian diplomacy.